Hello everyone and welcome to l l Diamond Painting. I'm Lee. And I'm Lenore. <laughs> and we are here for the weekly Whip and Chat. Version Lenore. <laughs> Aren't you thrilled? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Not too much going on since... Last we spoke. <laughs> last we spoke, which was on Tuesday. Yep. Um, for our illustrious life. Thank you everyone, by the way, for um, making it so much fun. <laughs> yes, it was actually. It was fun. Um, I get to give a shout out to Starlight, who um, graciously mentioned us and yes. brought us over a few subscribers, actually. Yes, she did. As well as she brought them over for Tamothy as well, or Tammy. Which Tammy loves. Yes. And, and can't believe. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the other thing we've got going on is. Did you pull the plastic back? I did. Okay, just checking. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, hmm. just the one thing we. The two things we got going on is don't forget that Saturday at hmm. approximately noontime, we will have another live for the um, support group, uh, caregiver support. Yeah. Some for those that are those that are caregivers or were caregivers or plan we'll on be being too. caregivers yeah. uh, can sit and talk and swap stories and so on. Miserate with each other. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, Let's face it, it's not all fun and games, but then again, it's not all bad either, so it all depends on how you look at it. But at any rate, uh, that will be Saturday at noontime. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the 1st, we will have... What are you doing? I'm sleeping and shaking better. I don't know if I got oh. it right. I, have, I still need to have him. She still, she still has issues shaking the tray. <laughs> I'm useless sometimes. You are not useless. You're just inexperienced. Extremely. Of course, it helps if I stop yeah. bouncing it rather than just shaking it. Yeah. Thank it you should do. be okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry about that. At any rate, uh, so on the first, we start the in memory event yep. uh, in this case in memory of 9-11 actually it's going to be that way in every year it's always going to be in memory of 9-11 right. um, it is a paint along this year and I was asked at one point why it is if it's just a paint along with no frills why it is we're requesting police fire EMS hospital workers military, you know, that, and, and anything 9-11 itself related. And that is because of the fact that I mm -hmm. just want it to be just that. It's just reminders of 9-11. Um, is it necessary? Yeah, probably not, but, you know, it's just the way I look at it. Other than that, we don't have a whole heck of a lot going on. As I said during the live, my brother is actually out of the hospital. Yep. Um, he is home with us. He is home. Feeling okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Better than he but, was in the hospital. Yeah, better <laughs> than being in the hospital. Anybody knows that one. Yep. Um, not that I can give a lot of detail, give a lot of detail, but that's about the long and short of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Other than that, I don't have any other real major news. Um, this is the end of Oz and Og. It will be, their, their final will be on the first, mm -hmm. which is a Sunday. That will be their grand prize giveaway, I do believe. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, Dits or Shay. 
almost forgot her name. Give a green flag then? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Old timers. That's it. There goes Kitty. Deciding she wants to be outside. She won't be that way for long. No, she won't. And She'll the come back in a minute. Rings. Um, but as far as the business of the day goes, other than those things, just please feel free to hit the like and subscribe. Oh, please do. And even share it if you think people will get a kick out of it. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I am going to start reading the comments, which is Lenore's favorite job. That is my favorite job. But she's makes... diamond painting today, so... Yeah. We have to, we have to, it's only fair to, um, hand Share it off. Share the wealth. Yeah. And the first one comes from KC. KC. She was That's watching me. the replay of the live. Uh, she says, you had another great live. They enjoyed you and Tammy. Lenore was missed. Thanks for sharing. That was the day that. Lenore decided she wanted to watch the Democratic Democratic National Convention because yep. it was, I believe, its last day. So she wanted to see that. So she didn't partake in no. the fun. I don't think it was the last day. It was just <clears throat> one of the days I watched it every night. Okay. Yeah, well, I know. Well, it was four days, so I yeah. don't know. Oh, my been. I don't remember what day the live was, so. Wasn't it on Tuesday? Uh, yeah, and well, I know, but what was the date? What difference does it make? Because the convention of 19, 20, 21, 22. It started on a Monday. <laughs> okay. All right, so anyway. I think. So anyway. Yeah, anyway, that. Um, then we have. I don't even have to give the name for this one. I'll bet you. What? Hi, lovelies! <laughs> Great hey. life as always. <laughs> Have fun, Lenore. Hope you back. Hope your back will get better soon, Lee. Have a great week. Love you. <laughs> we play. <laughs> so that was, of course, Henny, Henny. the the infamous greeting. Yep. I grant you. Um, we've got ghosts. It just slammed the door shut. On, on cinnamon, I think. <laughs> Now she has another reason to be afraid of something. Anyway, um, yeah, other than Mia, Mia also says, hey, lovelies. So those are her two favorite greetings. That's correct. And then we have your favorite and mine. Another awesome live. Lenore was definitely missed, but I think you were just as entertaining as you always are. I oh. missed you, my favorite. Gee, who could that be? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Peter. No, I think it's Tammy. No. That's Peter. No. Peter, yes. <laughs> don't you call her. Um, I truly appreciate the two of you having me be on on camera to talk instead of type. I love you. I love you both so much. Love you too, Tams. <sighs> yeah, I suppose. Oh, shut up, you. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, happy little drills. Carol. Hi, Sorry Carol. I missed the live. I had family over. The live was great. I missed Lenore. Ugh. Now, next live, she gets to do all the talking. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> He's the talker in this family. And yes, I did read this to her before our live last Tuesday. So, she did see it. I did? I did well, she again. did hear about it, but she chose to ignore it. <laughs> I did it's not. It's that, that typical selective wife hearing. Well. Or selective hearing wife, I should That's say. our only defense with you husbands sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes, uh-huh. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, happy little girl, Carol. So I miss the had family. Oh, yes, had family over. Yeah, what is it, Dad? Well, family always comes first, Carol. Yep. Always, 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 always. 
so that's not a problem. That's what replays are for. Not as much fun as being there live because you don't get to interact right away, but at least you can leave a comment. Yeah. So there is that. We love comments. Yeah, we do love comments too. Not only not only just the live comments, but regular comments too. As long as you're not telling us you hate us. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Don't ever come on. Yeah. Stay out of YouTube. That's it. You don't tell us that kind of thing. That's not nice. No, that'll make us cry. Um, we are going to, or I am going to, start trying to pay better attention to the uh, the uh, live comments. Watch under the door. It is her. She get pushed yeah, out. Yeah, she's she? trying to. She's trying to get, get her. I can't underneath. get her. That's all right. She'll survive. No, she won't. Not if the doorbell um, rings. But at any rate, real life does come first. Family always before. Yep. Us, you know. Because we're we're only extended family. We're not the real thing. Especially when you're dealing with most of our family is no longer with us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Dennis Smith. No, I know that's not Dennis. I can't remember her name, but I'll get it one of these days. Uh, hey guys, great live. I need to try and catch up with everyone. Nice to see you, Timothy. Sorry, Lenore wasn't there. I missed her sweet face. Oh, my lord. Uh, do you have your Facebook link for the event? I must have missed it. I did put, I did send it to you, I believe, or at least put it in a comment, I, I, on your reply, or in a reply to your comment. Can you say. do it again? But I will probably put it in this whip and chat as well, just to Let's make sure, because it. it's going to go in every whip and chat of mine uh, up until it's over. Yep. Uh, Diamonds and Doxies. <laughs> it's another one I can never remember her name, and I know it too. I don't remember half these people's real names. Well, at least you have, <clears throat> you can sort of remember them. Not always. No. But at any rate, um, Diamonds and Doxies says, Thanks for the whipping chat, Lee and Lenore. Congrats on your good glucose readings. Me. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you very much, hun. It's appreciated. It is nice because I can actually look at my numbers before I decide what I want to eat. That's correct. And see, you know, gee, I'm kind of high. Maybe I better have something a little less than normal. Or, <coughs> gee, I'm really low. I can actually splurge and have pasta or whatever the case may be. Not as much as he used to, but he makes yeah. his own. He makes his own decisions. I do whatever he tells me yeah. to, unless it's going to send him off into the stratosphere. Then I might say. <laughs> Diamonds by Jacqueline. That's our Kansas friend. Oh yes. Hello, my Florida friends. Another, uh, another awesome whipping chat. Mm -hmm. I am excited to participate in your event next month. Happy to hear your blood sugar numbers are good. I just know that I am Lee's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> have a good weekend. <laughs> Sending hugs from Kansas. Well, we're going to have a competition here. Shh, Jackie, don't tell Tammy. No, because Tammy will get that's, upset. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a secret. Even though Tammy hates secrets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Tim, she gets more crap. <laughs> Carol, happy little rooms. Yeah, that one I recommend. Love your whipping chats. Lenore, I sing to my stove too. And my cat and my dog. My friend. <laughs> I don't have a dog or I'd be singing to the dog too, but I do sing to my stove, my cats, my husband. Your refrigerator. The refrigerator. <laughs> the house. Yeah. <laughs> Usually that's a funeral dirge. Yeah. But anyway. <coughs> yeah, she just sings, which is, you know, I'm spoiled that way. You know, you guys get to hear her every now and then. I get to hear her almost every day. So, 
put that in your pipe and smoke it. Well, we don't know how long that'll be going on anyways because my voice seems to be in and out all the time lately. But that's okay. That's Florida weather for you. Hi, lovelies. Great whipping chat. It was Tina Turner. That's when I was trying to think of a song. You know, what's, <laughs> what's love, love got, got to, to do, do with, with it? it? Yep. Yeah, it's Tina Turner. I'm DPing along with you. Have a great weekend and week. Love you. Love you too. Now, you see, it's a good thing I'm not really dirty minded because I could take that DPing in another way. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what it means? No. I'll tell you after when we're done recording. <laughs> She's going to smack me, but I'll tell her after the recording. That's so bad. <laughs> I don't know where you came from. I did sort of gesture so she knew what I was talking about. He had such a sweet mother. I don't know who he belongs to. She says she gave birth to him, but uh, I don't know. You forget I have a father that used to tell dirty jokes to a nun. Yeah, well. <laughs> the nun sat there and listened. That's her problem. Hey, you know. And Ditsy of uh, Ditsy's Diamond Den sends us a heart. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ditsy. I'm not... That cough was not out of shock or surprise. No, it was it was actually just because of the fact that she swallowed wrong. That's correct. Yeah, I, I sent a reply to her saying that, you know, a, a heart from her does mean a lot. Okay. It really does. Does I mean, it? Look at how often I turn around and I say I'd like to be like her and Paul. You know, the two of us be like her and Paul. Yep. You know, when we grow up, maybe. But, um... <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's all in good. And then your chosen... Adopted daughter from over the pond. Yes, Angel. Hi, Mama L and Papa L. Hello, Angel. Hi, Angel. Uh, what is love? Where there is love, there is life. Mm -hmm. What is self-worth? Always remember you are braver than you believe, mm. stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. What happens when you put them together? Well, meet Lee and Lenore. There are your answers. Oh my God. That's all coming from uh, Angel. Love you both. Love you, Angel. And don't you ever, ever, ever stop singing, dear girl. <laughs> there, see? <laughs> okay. Here comes a semi kind of sort of book. Oh no. Tina Howdy Tina. folks. First of all, it's Tina Turnett. No, <laughs> no, actually she says it's Tina Turnett, you dodo. <laughs> no, you dodo, it is not Tina Turnett. <laughs> Shut off your spell check because it's even wrong. It's Tina Turner. Oh like Pen Turner. You know about that, Tams. You know, come on now. Reba McIntyre, are you kidding me? That's not even in the same genre. No. No, but I do like... Reba? Yeah. I do her. too. You know I like Reba. In all seriousness, I always enjoy your whipping chats. You both are so loving to each other. And I love the chemistry between the two of you. They can't see the black and blue marks. No, they can't. <laughs> Especially mine. Mine That's are well right. hidden. <laughs> okay, if you could change places with anyone in the world for one week, who would you choose and why? In other words, whose shoes would you want to walk in 
uh, walk a mile in. Again, you can't say each other. She always does this to us. You can't say each other. It takes away half the fun of it. <laughs> that is a good question. I don't have a good answer. You know, I sit there and I say, I'm going to think about these all week. Yep. And then guess what? You forget about them. I forget about them. I know, so do I. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to just, you know, squirrel and go on to the next one and come back because half the time I forget and we don't come back to it. I've already got one like that from Cindy that we got to answer. I don't have a person's name, but I would like to change places with a person who could affect people's lives for the better. Yeah. And for a week to see what could be done with this world in that time. That's good answer. I don't know. And I think that's absolutely right. I think that would be a good thing. I am similar to that yeah. in that the only difference being is I would want to switch places with somebody who has exorbitant amount of money so that I could take a portion of that money, a good portion of that money, and donate it to charities and special needs events and, and families who um, need it societies and whatnot that you know and do some good with it in that sense yeah. uh, so basically they're about the same answer but not quite so you'll have to suck it up Tammy and that's what you're gonna get suck it up buttercup huh? mm -hmm. exactly I'm not showing what I'm drinking because I'm being a trader I am not drinking diet do because okay because we don't have any coal. Yep. Uh, Melanie Hiber. Or Hiber. Yeah. How is that safe? Lenora had to tell you your dew was actually open. And oh my God, Lenora, that was hilarious. But wabbits <laughs> are adorable. <laughs> it's when you, would, when you screwed up and you oh. said something and you, and you did... Webbit. W instead of the yeah. R. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> but it I was wish, funny. I wish I could have said I did, because then I would have been funny. <laughs> well, er, it was funny. Funnier. No, it's more funny when you do it by mistake. Yeah, because people are like laughing at me. And, no, we're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. I wasn't you laughing. That? You were, Oh, you <laughs> most certainly were. Would you like me to play it again so you not can really. listen to it? Once was enough. So Silly anyway, boy. she had to tell me the do was open, Melanie, because she was bringing it to me at the time and she wanted to make sure I didn't grab it roughly to try and move it to open it. That's correct. Because she opens it, but she usually leaves the cap on it. But it, just in case, I moved it too much and shook it, or whatever the case may be. It would not have been a pretty sight. It would not have been a pretty sight. So she was just warning me. And then, Melanie, but you then, probably would have killed him. But <laughs> then me. she had an even bigger heart attack because I talked to her after that live. You did. Uh, and, um, or after that whipping shot, excuse yeah. me. And, she, you know, she saw it and she said, then all of a sudden I see your hand go under the canvas and the canvas is moving all over the, when I was looking for the magnet. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, when I was looking to see why the light pad wasn't turning on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the canvas was moving all over the place, and I knew the I knew that the bottle was there somewhere. She, she still had a heart attack. So nothing I can do is right, but that's okay. It's more fun that way. Uh, let's see, let's see. Wabbits are adorable. Uh, to me, self worth is knowing and believing. I deserve all the things as much as everyone else does, and I will never ever accept to be treated like. I am less than, less, less than by anyone else ever again, mm. which is a good point. It is a good point. I never learned that lesson. 
Oh, that was Melanie. And I don't, uh, I don't mean to make it sound like it's a joke, because it isn't, because she's absolutely right. Yep. However. Uh, fun chat. Love the giggle, Lenore. Yeah. I got a question. Mm. What are you reading, and what book would you recommend that you have read re that you read recently? I nope. I just read. I have a home um a uh, what am I going to say? Hallmark. Well, the book the book thing for Amazon an Amazon oh. account, and whatever is either free or extremely cheap, I can make do. I mean, I don't read everything I find because I think it might be good and it isn't. But I like a lot of supernatural, funny things, not scary things. And uh, <clears throat> I've been reading a lot of those books. They take my mind off of all she the likes crap. Sup In other words, she likes supernatural smut. No, I don't. These, these are not smutty, you little rotten head in the gutter. I am not even talking to you. They that is are a plan. super. They were supernatural romance books, which is supernatural smut. No, it isn't. <laughs> These people barely kiss each other. Barely. I'm gonna. Oh, well, I would hope they kiss each other barely. I mean, it would be oh, kind of suck to kiss them when they're clothed. <laughs> He's gonna pay for this, people. He's going to pay for it. I don't know how yet, but he will pay. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have Oreo attack him. In the uh, oh, and she also says, have a great week. And that was by Trin, but that was from Trin, by the way. Okay. Hello, Trin. Sorry, I didn't say your name first. Judith. Enjoyable whipping chat. Have a... I have a question, and I hope you don't mind it, it, if it is something most others already know. Lee, how did you discover diamond painting? First off, don't worry if it's something that most others know, because the only stupid question is the one that you don't ask, because you don't have the answer to it. And you never know if that's going to come back and haunt you or bite you in the ass. True. I found diamond painting, actually technically I found it a good number of years ago, uh, going through trying to find something as a hobby years and years ago, you know, because I was, at the time I was into paint by numbers, and I still am, but, you know, primarily at the time I was into paint by numbers, and I found that and I said, it might be interesting, but I looked at the box, and I was like, oh, this looks too confusing. So I just put it back. And then 2022, I believe, 21, 22. Something like that. I, uh, again, I was looking for something, because, I mean, I was housebound. Yeah. Still am, always will be, probably. Um, and I just was looking for something to do rather than sit around like a bump on a log. And I happened upon diamond painting again, and I said, oh, I remember that. I said, you know what, I think I'm going to look at it and see if there's any uh, YouTube videos mm -hmm. about it, see what I can find out. And I did find a few. Uh, Diamonds and Washi was one of them. Katie. Uh, from there I found a couple of other creators that she suggested. Um, Diamonds and Dr. Pepper, I believe, is one of them. Yeah. Uh, which is where I stole my name originally from, Diamonds and Do. Um, but nonetheless, uh, plus, you know, Jade from Jade at Gem Shops. Uh, you know, a few others, and I just started watching them and saying, heck, I can do this. Mm -hmm. So I did. Lo and behold, shortly after I started, I pulled my back out, 
and I was out for months without being able to diamond paint uh, while the diamond painting sat on the coffee table waiting yeah. to be done. That's the shorter version because there are other diamond well, paintings that Lenore bought me, but yeah, you know, little rounds, including a um, custom of the two cats when they were kittens. Oh yeah, that I up love. in the cat tree, which everybody sees on my thumbnails. I love that. Um, but that's the uh, the story of me and my diamond painting. Yep. Uh, and he see. dragged me kicking and screaming into it. Uh-uh. No. Yeah, uh. you, are, you are not going to throw me under the bus on that one. Why? It's the best thing you ever did. You decided to do it yourself. I did not drag you kicking and screaming. Yes, you did. Okay, this one comes from... i got to go back to the last page because it skipped telling me who it was from. That's what you get for picking on me. La, la, this la, comes la, from Lori Joseph. Oh, hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, Lee and Lenore. Thank you for your whipping chat. I have a question. Oh, good. Where were both of you when 9 11 took place? Oh, that's easy. Lee, I am very glad your sugar levels are doing well. I have been a type 2 diabetic for over 30 years. I manage it by taking once a day insulin shot. I take, I take one today insulin shot, 72 units, and I take two milligrams of a diabetic pill that I can't <laughs> think of the name of right off the top of my head, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. As far as where I was on 9-11, I was actually on a new job managing a storage facility, um, whom when things were confirmed as to what had happened uh, I tried to get them to allow me to throw the flag down to half mast and they said absolutely not uh, too bad so sad I did it anyway but <laughs> they weren't anywhere near it. they weren't anywhere to be found That's stupid. Um, but like I said too bad so sad I did it anyway uh, but I remember because there was a TV in the office that I sort of could get some sort of signal off of, um, and I w but I was able to also listen on the radio to the reports, mm -hmm. and I did that up until the time I had to leave. I don't even remember what time that was. What about you? I was working for Salem Hospital in Salem, Massachusetts, in the bottom of Children's Hospital, which is part of Salem Hospital, doing insurances. And we couldn't, none of us could believe it. And there were people in the hospital that did have family members, because Salem's not that far, and one mm -hmm. of the flights were, well, one or two were from Boston. Yeah, two. Two. Out of Logan. Yep. Yeah. So, it was pretty shocking, and you just wanted to go somewhere and cry. Luckily, we were in a little office, there were only two of us, so we could do that without scaring the patients. <laughs> and here's the comment that I referred to earlier. Cindy Bennett. Okay, now I know not to comment after asking a question, because <laughs> that's the one we squirreled on. Uh, you forgot to answer my last question. So again, you are on a desert island and can only bring three things with you. What would each of you bring? She did also include the fact that seeing as there's two of us, that means we can bring six things because it's three things apiece. I have no idea. So seeing as we're both there, I can't bring you because you're already there. And you can't bring me because I'm already there. Probably some clothes. You'd bring your cats. Oh, well, yes, that's true. You'd bring cat food. You wouldn't have to worry about a litter box because there's sand everywhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so that's two things that I'm thinking for you here. Look, look at this. Um, would there be cell service? If there was cell service, we'd have to bring our phones. That's correct. 
So there's your third thing and my, one of mine. <laughs> no. You notice how I'm answering for her, right? We'd be bringing food and a way, you know, anti saline tablets or something to make fresh water with that you. Oh, yeah. Make, yep. To, to drink. Yep. Or some way to collect rainwater. Right. Which you can make on the island, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so that's your answers, I believe. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. And the last page. This is from the opening of the kit for, uh, uh, for yeah. my memory kit. Yeah. It's a great looking, uh, it's a great image. Looking forward to the event that's coming from Judith. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's no frills, there's no prizes, there's no, you know, um, just being with people you care yeah, it's about. Just, it's just being with, with one another and sharing memories and time and mm -hmm. things of that nature. True. You know, there's not going to be any items that to be associated with it that, you know. Not this year. Hey, anyways. buy this. It's for the event. No, don't buy that because it's not for the event because I'm not having anything done for the event this year. Maybe next year. Uh, possibly next year I'll get a hold of some people and see if they still want to take part. Um, but for this year, I would rather not have it something that, you know, gee, what can I win or what can I buy? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, Melanie Bear says, great choice. Oh. Oh, he's out there. He's already got it. Okay. Uh... He's a great choice. Uh, that's, or she Is says, because that's Melanie. I don't know, she's around somewhere. She was up in the window. Oh no, that's him up in the window. I think she's stuck out there. Oh, well. We're talking about our little girl kitty. Yes, our, our scaredy cat cat. Who's now trapped in the living room with a big bad nurse. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> so uh, Melanie says great choice and by the way for those of you who haven't seen it I'll try to remember to put the link to that particular post in the description however it's not that far back so you can always go back and check it out and, um, and by the way he has written something really nice yes I for, have for which, the, I, which will be read on yes, the first right I'll go over that after we're done with all of this oh okay I didn't want um, him to get it Carol says that's a very nice image on that kit. The rendering looks good to us. To us. Okay. And there is no read more, so I don't. I didn't miss anything. You are wonderful. Ah, Diamonds by Jacqueline says a beautiful diamond painting. Timothy says I love the painting. It's perfect for the event. Yes. I just wish it were a little, little bigger. But Diamond painting with Gammy says, nice canvas for memory. And Trin says, looking forward to seeing you work on this kit during your whipping chats. Uh, yeah, I will be kidding that up. Um, soon. Very soon. <laughs> because in the packages, because it was an Amazon kit, the packages for the drills are not the greatest. Yeah. Uh, and I'm losing grills, so it's such a small stuff. kit. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to lose any grills because I don't have any spare rounds. Um, but nonetheless, uh, there is that. Uh, yes, on on the first after um, Shay's live with the grand prize and whatnot for the Oz and Oz event, mm -hmm. uh, I will have, or I should have scheduled a premiere. So it's something that's going to be recorded, uh, and then I'll put it out as a premiere, and of course we'll be in the chat with everyone else mm -hmm. at the same time. Uh, I was going to do it as a live, and I was going to have Berta uh, read it for me. 
because, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm a rather emotional kind of guy. And I tend to get choked up, even though I've read it several times. And he wrote it. <laughs> and I wrote it. Um, I still tend to get a little choked up, especially given the subject matter being September 11th. And the facts that are included in the writing. Facts, by the way, which I did look up. They're not just random. No, they're by um, everything. But then on top of that, uh, Lenore has a song that she feels is appropriate as well that she will sing following that reading to kick off the grand opening of the event. So I hope you all um, check it out. I hope I see you in the chat. <coughs> Speaking of chat, by all means, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. No, it's on the other side. And I can't read it. Uh, we're just trying to figure out how long we've been on. Um, we don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> every time I say that, oh, you know, you could never bore me. Oh, you want to bet. <laughs> It's like, uh, exactly, really, you really think so? Forty some minutes. Okay. We haven't gone past the bore time. No, we haven't got past In, boring yet. Yeah. We might, but we haven't got past boring yet. Uh, one of the things, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that we will be having a couple of different things um, at some point in time I don't know when but at some point in time we will be having a you already got it okay. at some point in time we will be having a live on a Saturday afternoon oh yeah um, not just the one for the uh, caregivers. caregivers but one for those that are over in the Netherlands and um, Denmark and that kind of thing because they're like four or five hours ahead of us even in the UK actually all over that area um, Because by the time we usually have our lives It's like two three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and they don't get a chance to actually Participate, participate in the life. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. We may do that once in a while just because not to take place of a regular live, oh God, no. <laughs> but in addition to. Um, so, just so that you're aware of that. Uh, also, at some point in time, uh, we will be having a live dual whip and chat where Lenore will be working on hers like she is now. And I will be working on mine like I will be next, next week. Because next week is a little different because I'll be working on my event That's canvas. True. Not the one I've been working on since hell hath been born. Yeah, well, that's um, a huge one. Well, not only that, but I've been out with my back and whatnot yeah, for so long. Yeah, you work on it. I'm surprised the glue still sticks. Yeah. <laughs> um, but at any rate... Uh, so we do have some things that are uh, in the works, some things that are in the plans. We haven't forgotten anybody. Uh, we haven't forgotten anything. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to say, good, bad, or indifferent, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, just say hello. To say, yeah, I watched you. You know, anything. Uh, number one, I keep telling you that's my script. Yep. And that's that's what we read off every week. Um, I'm gonna start taking stock and printer paper <laughs> uh, and ink. Yeah. But at any rate, uh, yeah, like I said, feel free to leave a comment. 
leave an emoji, you know, whatever it is you'd, you'd like to do. Um, hit the like button and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, like I also said, make sure, you know, even share it if you think somebody could use a laugh, if you think this is worth it, and it might give them a laugh, go right ahead. You know, we would be more than appreciative. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, Grant, you, all we can do is say thank you. Uh, I am at, or we are at, I keep saying I, and it's this is a joint effort, so. Wow. Even if I say I, know that it's actually we. Um, we are at currently 308 subscribers, yep. which is far better than I thought we could be doing or would be doing. Ever. Ever, <laughs> yes. I was, like I've told you in the past, I am, I am surprised, I was surprised when we got past 10. <laughs> well, no, past 20. I had 10 before I even started right. making posts. But nonetheless, um, so yeah, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Just because I want to see if we can if we can go up any further. Yeah, we may um, have peaked. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's it. We're at three hundred and eight. How long have you been going on? Twenty years. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. There goes Oreo. Asthma cat, I think. Yeah, he's got some sort of a coughing issue. In case, I don't think you can, but just in case you can hear it in the background. Hopefully the fan didn't create so much noise that you can't hear. I just thought of that. I don't know. But, I it is what it so. is. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me over the fan. Oh. Um, the microphone's If right not, there. we'll know next week. Yeah. Because some, somebody's bound to be nice enough to let us know, yep, it was a little loud. You know, just like... Just like the um, the one that let us know about the TV, yes, which we are appreciative of. Trust me, mm. I do not review the whip and chats. I do not review nine tenths of my posts, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you to even warn you. So it's a matter of what you guys tell me. That's cool. Or us, depending. Usually well, me, because I'm the one that reads the comments. Well, I'm the one that usually pulls them up and reads them. I read them to you. Yeah. Always. Yeah. So that you can know what they are at the same time and I do. And I read them every other week on... That's right. And you read them every other week on... I'm talking about I initially. understand now. I didn't understand what you were saying before. Yeah, see? See how you are? Getting ready to throw me under the bus. Always throw you under the bus. Um, but other than that, what's that? It's, it's fine. Um, she's, being she's being critical of her diamond painting skills again. Don't worry about it. That can be easily fixed. Well, I do think so. I know so. I don't know everything, you know. I don't know everything, but I know that. Mm -hmm. um, so, as yes. I am often saying, so make sure you let those around you know that they are appreciated, they are loved, they are seen. Oh, um, especially if the individual is going through any kind of a particularly hard time. Yeah, that's the truth. Words can do a lot of good. On the other hand, words can also do a lot of bad. So make sure that if you say something, it is a fact. Don't go spreading rumors. Don't go spreading hate. Um, because that's just awful. Yeah, it's not the word I was looking for. I know, but... It's but close enough. Um, it's wrong on top of that. Once you've said something, you can't take it back. You can't it back. take it back. No matter how much you apologize, yeah. 
you know, because you made it, you found out you made a mistake or you got phony information from somebody else. Um, That's correct. Once the damage is done, the damage is done. That's all there is to it. Yep. Um, so make sure you know for a fact before you say anything and have something there to back it up. Yep. Because if you don't, you're just as bad as the rumor mongers. Um, and after all, think about what you're saying as to whether you'd want somebody to say that about you, not knowing what's going on. That's right. So on that note, I will say thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. I hope we were at least a little bit entertaining. <laughs> um, and whatever you were doing while you were watching us, may you continue, may it be something you enjoyed uh, and something you continue to enjoy and continue to bring us right along with you. Anything you want to say? No, you're the talker of the two of us. Yeah, well, you're, you're the still... thinker. No, I, I. You said mostly everything. Well, I'm just. Well, you see, you said mostly everything. I can't think of anything else. All right then. See. You're puking on me, poopy. <laughs> poopy. Yes. Poopy. <laughs> yeah. That's almost as bad as the Westerly wedding. <laughs> Okay. Do you realize what that's going to do now? No. Nope. That's going to go everywhere. <laughs> hey, it's poopy. <laughs> Especially with Tammy. And it's all going to be your fault. Tammy, don't you dare listen to her. <laughs> I will get you. <laughs> you one do. way or another. You usually do. <laughs> you <you're> die <dying> true. <laughs> And Bernie, you either. <laughs> but on that note, everyone have a great week. We will see you next time on Saturday. We hope. We hope. Yeah. Whether it's to take part or just to hang out. Yeah. Because, you know, I mean, yeah, it's a support group, but, I mean, we can't guarantee privacy in, because it's an open forum. It's an open format, uh, at least right now, anyway. But thank you for coming, and have a great time in whatever it is you plan on doing between now and then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.